Hi, this is just a quick video to let you know about a new feature that's been added to the English language Wikipedia. Uh, it was added just last week, uh, mid-May 2010, and that is the Create a Book feature. It's hiding over here behind the Print slash Export menu item on the left, and once you open that item you can click Create a Book. Okay, I'm using Windows 7 here and Firefox 3.6 just for your general information. Uh, to get the feature started you click on the Start Book Creator link and now at the top of a page that you will see uh, you'll see Book Creator, a little dialog box that lets you add pages to your book, show the book and so on. Now let's say I want to build a book for my students. I'm teaching political economy and we're discussing the mid-Victorian corn laws. So let's go ahead and search for corn laws here. And this will serve as our base article. Now what I'd like to do is add this page to my book. And now you can see under the show book area I have one page. Now I could uh, enter various search terms and find related articles and so forth uh, for as long as I want and go on adding pages to my book. But there's a real nice feature about the book creator that allows you to uh, hover over links within articles and add that article to your book. So since I'm teaching political economy, let me add an article on Thomas Malthus. Add linked wiki page to your book. Scroll back up here and you'll see I have now two pages in the book. Two Wikipedia pages, that is. Okay, let's come back down here. Uh, since we're talking about Malthus, we have to add Ricardo. The two are always linked. And let's say we've uh, decided to add Lord Liverpool. Rather an obscure feature in the topic, but let's say I just decided to add him. And then we'll come down here and add, uh, of course, Sir Robert Peel, whose government fell on the repeal of the, the Corn Act, uh, Corn Laws. And we want Adam Smith, the article on David Hume, and even the article on the Chartist movement, and Karl Marx, and the Anti-Corn Law League. Okay, now we're getting a sizable book here. So let's say that's what we want our students to take a look at. We've got 10 Wikipedia articles in our book now. So let's go ahead and click on that Show Book link. We come to a Manage Your Book page. The title uh, will say Corn Laws. And Victorian Economics, we'll call it. Economics Issues is our subtitle. Okay, now uh, we see I have a little uh, contents box here uh, headed by Corn Laws. And let's say I want the Anti-Corn Law League to be second, the second article in my book. I can simply drag and drop it in position number two here. Okay, and let's say I have decided that uh, the Earl of Liverpool was an ill-advised choice, I can delete it from my list. Okay. And let's say I want to move Chartism up to be the third article, and then followed by the Economists. Okay, that's the order I want. Now you can see my uh, choices are to preview with PDF Press, and if I wanted a printed version, I could get a uh, very low-cost printed version from PDF Press, but since we are opposed to printing things here at our college, we want to uh, be as green as possible, we will download it. And my download uh, file format choices are PDF or Open Document Text. Now I have to be honest here and say I've uh, tested both of them, and the Open Document Text format did not open natively in Word 2010. I have Word 2010 on my system. 
and it didn't open. I had to massage it first by opening it up in WordPad, saving it as a DOCX document, and then opening it in Word 2010. It all came through fine when I was testing this, um, but if you wanted to create a document that you will that you will then modify for your students by adding other materials to of your own or links to journal research articles and so forth I would recommend saving it in open document text format doing whatever you have to do to get it open in your version of Word and then editing it there but if you want the document as is downloading it in PDF format is fine and here's how that would work just click the download button now the document has to render here Okay, our document is rendered now, and I'm going to click the download file link. Uh, from within uh, the reader now, I can click the save as icon to save it locally, and let's put it on the desktop and let's call it cornlaws.pdf. Okay, and now I can go to my desktop. There is that document. Open it in Acrobat. And let's view it at 100%. And you can see I've got a nice title page, generation message, table of contents, which does not contain active links, and some references. And the article sources and the image sources uh, are included for us automatically, very useful, and the, uh, uh, the license to, the license to use the text. And you can see that it's a well formatted document, including graphics. There's Sir Robert Peel. Okay. And our document is fairly complete. It takes each of those laws, uh, formats them nicely for us even with uh, framed images and so forth. Now if we were to, to move to the bottom of the article and take a look at our sources here, here are all the articles of the Wikipedia articles, I mean the authors of the Wikipedia articles by name uh, with links. Quite a bibliography. <laughs> Corporate authorship. And uh, the images, their sources and their licenses to be sure we're using public domain images. And finally, the Creative Commons license to use this text at all. Now, as I say, if you wanted to modify this uh, text somehow, add other sections to it, uh, perhaps refer your students to readings in the textbook that you've selected for the course, it would be useful to edit it in Word and add those things to it. So there's, there's no reason to disparage the Wikipedia for basic knowledge. It is a fine tool, and you may want to, uh, in fact, correct it for your students in that way and enrich it. Okay, so that's just an example of what you can do with the book creator in the new English language Wikipedia.